Welcome back, everyone. Isn't this a fascinating discussion today? We're learning so much with Dr. Walsh. We are so blessed that he came to spend the day with us. Well, you've got to get his book, Nutrient Power. It is really a powerful book. Now, I've got to tell you, it is a scientific book, but you can do it. You can yeah. read this and understand it. It's great. Well, it's, it's, its purpose really is to help people. And, right. and uh, I've been training doctors around the world and my goal is to train a thousand doctors in five years and I've got the first 125 in Australia, mm -hmm. Norway, and, 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 and USA. And the real re reason is because they, they get excited when they find there are ways that they can help patients they couldn't help Absolutely. before. Absolutely. Exactly. Uh, doctor, let's imagine I have schizophrenia and I come to you and ask you to work your wonders on me. What, what could I expect to have happen? And, and kind of explain your theories as you go. Well, first of all, you would be, if you're a schizophrenic, you would be on a number of medications if you right. went to a mainstream medicine. And you probably four of them. Tried include, many of them, I'm Including sure. at least one that would be a, what's known as an atypical antipsychotic, a very powerful medication that would probably do a fairly decent job of reducing your, your psychosis. In other words, you might not be hearing voices anymore, or you might not be uh, having delusions but you would be a shadow of your original self right, and you would right. have lousy side effects that you would hate. You might put on 150 pounds of weight My or goodness, yeah. you wouldn't be the same person you were before. What we would do is we would try to find out why you were schizophrenic. We would try to, we've, we've, I've studied more than 3,000 schizophrenics and, and it's not a single condition. There are three major types of schizophrenia that are completely different, that have different neurotransmitter problems. And, and you traced it to the epigenetic effects. It, it, well, we believe that it's caused okay. by epigenetics, okay. but then the question is, after that's happened, how can we help this patient? And the question is, what is your basic unique biochemistry? What's gone wrong in your brain chemistry? And so we, we do some, some lab testing, and, and it only costs about three or $400 to do these lab tests that can help us identify which person you are. And so, for example, if you're an undermethylated schizophrenic, if you, if you have a low methylation level, uh, we can give you nutrient therapies that can normalize that. And it takes about four to six months for that to normalize. And, and then after a patient, we, by the way, we, continue, we would continue your medications for the first four, five, six months and do both treatments together, do our nutrient therapy. And then mm -hmm. we would then, after you got better, assuming you were one of those who responded really well, and most of them do, then we would want to gradually reduce the medication and, and, and see what the optimum dose of the medications is. Well, if you were taking four meds, we might get it down to a low dose of one med. Right, right. And you might not have any side effects. Right. And I've had hundreds of schizophrenics uh, become completely okay. And it, there's nothing in my experience has been as exciting as seeing a schizophrenic get well. 